Red Sox hosting the Padres. The Padres are minus 104 on the money line. The Red Sox are minus 112. The over-under is 10 runs. The Padres laying a run and a half on the run line are plus 140, meaning if you bet them that way, they have to win by two or more. And the Red Sox getting a run and a half on the run line are minus 170, meaning if you bet them that way and they win this game outright, you win. They lose by one, you win. Neither of these pitchers pitched against the opposing team either last season or this season. The weather is supposed to be 84 degrees with 14 mile an hour winds blowing out and a 40% chance of rain. So a good chance we see a lot of offense and a good chance that we see a delay. Now head to head, the Red Sox are six and four, but the Padres have won the last three games they played against each other. The road team's on a two game winning streak. The road team is eight and two. The underdog has won the last two games they played against each other. The favorite is six and four on the money line. The favorite or the underdog getting or laying runs is five and five. There's only been one one run game in their last 10. The over is hitting their last two. The under is five, four and one and the under 10 is seven and three. But both games they played this year went over because of the weather. The wind has a lot to do with the fact of uh, the balls carrying out there in Fenway. The Padres are 3-2 and two in Waldron's last five starts. The under is 3-2 and two in those starts. They've won his last two starts. Six and a third innings pitch, 3.6 hits, 1.4 earned runs, 4.8 strikeouts, 1.6 walks, 0.2 home runs, 99.6 pitches per game, 15.5 pitches per inning, and he's thrown over 100 pitches in his last two starts. For Winkowski, the Red Sox are 2-1 and one in his three starts, and he hasn't gone more than four and a third innings. He hasn't strike, struck out more than one batter in a game. So he's not going very deep in these games. So eh, that's why the Padres are the favorite in this one. The Padres are 9-1 and one in their last 10. They're on a five-game winning streak. 16 runs, 13 runs, 11 runs, 12 runs. 9 runs and a win, 8 runs and a win, 9 runs and a win, 11 runs and a win. For the Red Sox, 6-4 and four in their last 10. They're on a three-game losing streak. 13 runs, 13 runs, 11 runs, 12 runs. Seven runs in a win, four runs in a loss, two runs in a loss, one run in a loss. Padres with the money line, Padres laying the runs in the over. These are just my picks. If you disagree, please go with your gut and please bet responsibly.